gotta, we gotta do something because I feel like my day cannot fully start until I like at least get a little bit presentable. So I thought I would just bring you along, a little like little day in the life type thing. Hi all, how's it going? Good, glad to hear I'm um, good as well. <clears throat> Today I have a bunch of just like small random things I'm doing around the house, so I thought I would just bring you along, a little like little day in the life type thing. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting um, for Kitchen Reno Part 2, and I just heard back on an update regarding it that I've been waiting for for a long time, so things are starting to move again. The train is back on the track. So, that's in the works again, so part two should be coming, not like super soon, but it is, it's happening again, and I am starting to do more things, which means I'm filming, which means it's on the way, so that's an exciting update for me to you, but I'll give you a little bit of an update on something small that I'm really excited about for those that are waiting. Um, oh. So first off, this is my newest baby, my newest addition to the kitchen. It is the Smeg Toaster. And I ordered this, I think, January <laughs> off the Williams-Sonoma website. And it has been back ordered ever since. And it's now almost April. And I just got it like yesterday in the mail. So very exciting. I think it's just so beautiful. Um, I have loved Smeg products like ever since, I think in high school, I saw a picture of the fridge and have wanted something Smeg in my home. like before I even owned a home, so it's pretty cool that like finally I'm able to have this toaster. And the, um, I got the one that has the long slots because I'm a really big fan of making like long toasties like this with rye bread and our old toaster like these would never fit in it. You'd have to kind of do like a toast one half then toast the other half deal. So I'm very excited that I can, I can cook, cook, toast. I'm very excited that I can toast full long toasties in this toaster. So I'm just starting breakfast now, it's like the middle of the day, but it's a Saturday morning, so we're starting a bit late. So I'm gonna make some um, avocado toasties for breakfast. My Saturday morning routines have been just that, get up, make coffee, breakfast, and then sit down and watch the newest episode of Drag Race because they come out Friday nights, so I watch them every Saturday morning. And okay, I gotta do something about this hair because it's it needs to be washed. And I was bad and slept in like mascara last night, which I'm trying not to do, but I messed up last night and went to bed with it on, so I gotta, we gotta, we gotta do something because I feel like my day cannot fully start until I like at least get a little bit presentable. <laughs> Okay, so the other day I ac like, <laughs> accidentally just let my hair air dry naturally and I was surprised at how much more curly it's become. I think it's because I've been trimming the front a lot, doing the bangs, so it's like become healthier since all this dead stuff is gone essentially. And that was with me not trying. I posted it on Instagram and everyone freaked out and was like, please do more of this. <laughs> so I thought today I would actually put in some effort and like try to bring out the curl and just see what happens for fun. It's actually good timing because recently in the mail I got um, like a gift basket from Bondi Boost, which I've never used their products before, but they're supposed to be um, really good for hair growth, which is what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> they are vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, silicone-free. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things they sent me. So I already used this in the shower, which was the Miracle Hair Mask, and then hair oil and intensive spray. I think this one's like a leave-in conditioner, so I'll probably do this one. And then what I did was I just took a wide tooth comb and brushed it in the shower with the conditioner in, and then after I got out, I didn't brush it again so that these curls can like form on their own. And then I've been doing the thing with like a t-shirt where you just kind of dry it, which I don't know, I, I don't I, I don't know. <laughs> but apparently this is much better than using um, like an actual bath towel on your hair. So this is what, this is what we're doing. <laughs> I guess I should figure out my part before it gets too dry also. I should have done this in the shower too. Now I'm worried, like I don't want to mess up the curls. Okay. <laughs> let's do um, let's do the intensive spray. Spritz directly onto scalp and gently massage in with fingertips. Apply once a day to wet or dry hair. And then maybe let's do let's do the hair oil just on the ends because that is what gets the driest. 
perfect for frizzy, dry, or thirsty hair. Ooh, it smells good too. It's like peppermint tea. And then I have a diffuser too, like the diffuser attachment for my hair dryer, but I don't know if I should be using that to keep these curls or I think I'm just gonna let it air dry today and just see what happens but let me know what are the advantages of a diffuser should I be using it to like lock these curls in <laughs> okay okay something else that is on my list things to do today is to take photos for an upcoming video um yeah, it's going to be out by the time you see this and it was shopping small businesses so i filmed it all last week but the last thing i need to do is come around with the 5d and take like nice photos of everything because i didn't get time to do that so we're doing that today um so right now i'm staging a candle luckily for me i left most of the things the same from when i like i didn't move them after i shot them last week so i just need to kind of reset them up so for example, this one, I had candles lit around the candle, so I gotta relight these and snap some pics. Did you light? <laughs> that did not light. Hello? I think this candle's too far burnt in the crevice. I never leave my candles running for long enough, which is like, you know, the number one rule to not do if you want your candles to last, is like let them melt evenly, and I never do that. Okay. Let's take some pics. This is the camera that we shoot all of our like still photography on. It's the Canon 5D Mark II maybe. And this is what we shot our old YouTube videos on. We've had it for a long time and it's still going. Okay, next up we have this little glass lamp that I have to shoot. It was so cute. But the one thing when I ordered it online, I didn't realize it was going to come with a European plug. I just I didn't even think to check even though it was made in Germany. The good thing is I have this little converter which all you do is just snap it on and now it's an American plug, Canadian. So, well, let's turn it on. I just, I say that's all you have to do because I think this should work, but I haven't actually tested it, so let's see. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, look how cute. Okay, photos. I like to give myself something to shoot through when I have the chance, um, just because it brings a lot of depth into photos. So I'm putting these like dried flowers here so that I can shoot like past them, and then they're really out of focus in the front, which is very nice. Could you see any of that or was I just like <laughs> covering it? Okay, so I have all the photos taken. Um, also update on the hair, it's still like very wet but also drying and I'm surprised it hasn't frizzed up more. I thought it would for sure. I'm um, just being rogue, not like up in a plop or a towel or anything. It's like doing okay. I don't know if that's just like because I haven't played with it in a while and I just don't know how it acts anymore or if it's because those products um, really helped to keep it not frizzy. Either way, so far so good. But okay, let's edit some photos. So I offloaded them all to my computer. So what I do first is I'm just going to go through them all and like tag them like which ones are my favorites so that I don't have to edit all of them. I only have to edit like three or four of each kind. So... I mean, there's not really a science to this. So out of like all my wide options here, which one do I like the best? Um, I like the ones where I can't see the cabinets. Let's do this one. Tag it a color so I remember it's good. That one's good too, actually. Sometimes they're literally so similar that I don't know, but let's go with this one. Okay. So I ended up picking about like four favorites from each one, which is still probably too many than we're gonna use, but I wanted to give myself options. Then I added everything in Lightroom. I just really like Lightroom because it has um, a mobile app that's like the same as the desktop. So anything you do on desktop like syncs to your phone. So all your presets and everything can be there too. It's just like really nice. So let's do this photo. I'm not gonna do a ton. I just, I'm just gonna bring out the natural colors that are there. So it's looking a little green to me. So I'm gonna, Take down the green tone. Let's do some, some contrast. I'm just kind of play around with these sliders to be honest and just like see if it's looking better or worse. 
Um, and then I like to go in and like individually mess with the colors too. So like the yellow in the tulips is like a very green yellow. So let's make it more like a warm yellow. Bump the saturation, maybe take the greens down a little bit, make them warmer. Maybe we wanna bump the red and the beets a little bit. Cool, and then something else I like to do is, where is it? Oh, sharpening, just a little bit. And then also grain, boost grain a little bit. Just makes things look more like filmy, which is really nice. And yeah, let's see if I can show you the before and after. Oh yeah, see look, the before, things are just kind of dull, looking a little green after. A little punchy, a little vibrant, a little sharp. It's not too much, but I think it looks nice. So let me go ahead and edit some other ones and then I can just show you some more before and afters. Sometimes this works and sometimes this doesn't. Um, you can like command copy the edits that you did on one photo and then put them on the next one if it's like taking a similar setup. So <laughs> sometimes they work really well, sometimes it's like it doesn't work, so let's find out. Yeah, see in this case it was way too bright, but be able to fix that there we go just turn the whites down and that looks actually really good I like when the blacks aren't like too black like there's some softness in like the gray tones so let me show you the before and after of this one as well before it's okay after just has like a more of like a richness to it cool I'm gonna carry on Okay, let me show you some other before and afters um, that were my favorite because I finished them all now. So like this one is the lamp and this is what I was talking about when I was saying I like shooting through things. Like you can see that the um, the little like flowers are like out of focus in the foreground here and here, which is really nice. This is it before, just kind of dull and a bit yellow and this is it after, a bit more poppy. Oh yeah, I liked how these ones turned out a lot too. I think that the white in the back was really nice. Actually, this one didn't change too much, but I still like it a lot. This one I liked a lot because like the blacks were really nice, just a bit more punchy. So yeah, it's fun. I like playing around. Okay, um, update to the hair saga. It's it's still not dry. It's gonna take forever. My hair is so thick and takes forever to dry if I don't blow dry it or brush it is the big thing. Like brushing it will make it dry a lot faster, leaving it kind of clumped will take longer but it's going but I can already tell it's going to have some frizz to it so there's one thing I want to try that I think will be really fun and that is to use a really tight curling iron to mimic this curl so I could just fix some of the ones that aren't like you know behaving the best so I'm gonna run and do a curbside pickup order at Sally's for like a really tiny curling iron because I don't own one and then um, we can try that out together because I've only ever done it once. I borrowed it from Daniela when I was doing the Penny Lane costume for a Halloween live stream, and I did my hair really curly and I did that with a tiny, tiny curling iron. So I think considering I have, I'm like 90% of the way there naturally, I think it could be really cool to do like the last little bit with a little, a little curling iron. So I am gonna go pick that up now and then we'll go back home and try it out. Got the goods. Alrighty, here we go. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I was gonna get, um, <laughs> oh no, the bottom didn't curl at all. I was gonna get a wand versus the clippy one, but they didn't have it. Oh, I couldn't find it. So maybe I can just use it this way. Just because I have to do so many wraparound curls that like to fit it all in the clip could be hard. Okay, fun. It's definitely curlier than the rest of my hair. But actually, I think that blends pretty well. <laughs> okay, I'm more concerned about these pieces that didn't really curl at all. What do I do with them? I honestly don't know. I don't know. I have never had curly bangs before. The only time I've ever tried to make curly hair work is when there was no shape to it. It was just long everywhere. So this is a whole new territory for me. 
okay, okay, this is working. I am feeling my Stevie Nicks fantasy. You know whose hair this also reminds me of a little bit? I think um, the sister from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I forget her name, but she had really good curly hair. That's not the same person who is Baby from Dirty Dancing, is it? What's her name? Is it the same person? I'm either gonna be very wrong and it'll be embarrassing or I'll be right. Will Google know? Hey, what actor plays Baby in Dirty Dancing? Francis Baby Houseman was played by Jennifer Grey. Okay. What actor plays Ferris Bueller's sister? Jennifer Grey. On the website insider.com. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> in my head, their face was the same. So, so I was like, it must be the same person. And it is. So this is giving me uh, Jennifer Grey hair too. Oh my God. Sorry, I was like not even paying attention to what I was doing because I was Googling. And this looks really good. <laughs> and it matches the rest, which means I don't have to use a ton of heat for it to actually like look good. I feel like I'm a whole different person though when my hair is curly. Like I, I need an, an alter ego name or something. Like this is a different person. It's fun. I just don't know her. What do I do with this hair? Who am I? Like what, what do I wear? What do I do? Like, who is this? I don't know, but I like it. You guys were right. Everyone who was getting really excited for me on Instagram was right. <laughs> this is a move. Okay. I really don't need to do much more. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more. And then I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> All right guys, what do we think? Nobody puts Becky in a corner. <laughs> This is great. I'm gonna do this more often. Uh, although it's now approaching the evening. I have nowhere to go. I'm gonna go to bed eventually. So I don't know, like, how do I sleep with this and not ruin it overnight? Like, do I need to tie it up? I know that you can do like a silk scarf to protect it. Like, is that what I need to do? Cause I'm deathly afraid that when I wake up tomorrow, this is just gonna be like a frizzy mess. So again, give me all of your advice below. I will listen to it. <laughs> oh, and for anyone who is wondering, this is a, Five eighths inch curling iron, and it's hot tools. This one, it's good. All righty, um, it's the next day. It's Sunday. This is how she turned out after I slept on it. It's honestly a lot better than I thought it would be. Like I, I'm really surprised. Let me put you guys down. It just kind of required me like. I don't know, playing with it and making sure everything's like separated again because when I woke up, these pieces were like, I don't know, crazy. So I just need to pull them back. I don't know, I thought I would have to do a lot more touching up. Like this piece is a bit, I don't know, like the curl kind of got a little squished. Like some of these end pieces, like you can tell that I slept on them, the curl's kind of messed up. It's more like straight. So I can go in and fix that, but honestly, it's not that bad. And then we just ended that day by taking Danny for a walk um, and getting some fresh air since the weather has been so nice. We've been trying to go to different trails and stuff um, instead of just sticking to the sidewalk around our house just for a literal change of scenery because it's hard to get these days, which by the way, it's next day also. The curl is gone, sorry, it will come back. Um, but I just wanted to end this video by just giving you guys a big thank you for being so patient with us. Toronto is now in another lockdown, which is just making the DIY makeover process so much slower and harder. It takes longer to get things and we're doing them all kind of solo again. Um, and so without help, it makes things harder too. So <laughs> just wanted to say thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate all of you. Exciting stuff is coming. It just might be coming at a little bit of a slower pace, but it is in the works. I have a bunch of home stuff in the works, which is really exciting um, because it's kind of all I can work on right now while I'm at home. But I think you guys like that content anyway. So stay tuned. I have some more vlogs also I'm thinking about doing. So those will be up eventually. But yeah, just a thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this more chill laid back vlog and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye. <laughs> hope you guys are all staying safe.